Welcome to Made by Human. Made by me, a human. Hi, my name is Tia. This just in, cheese gives you nightmares. At least according to this study it does. She's biting my study. Participants who are lactose intolerant were more likely to experience nightmares if they ate a dairy product right before bedtime. Other participants who had gastrointestinal issues also experienced bad dreams if they ate the wrong food before going to bed. Speaking of food, Mattel just announced that it is releasing its first ever Diabetes Barbie. Diabetes Barbie comes with a continuous glucose monitor, an insulin pump, and a really cute dress. She also comes with heart-shaped medical tape, as well as statistically higher chances to develop type 2 diabetes. Damn, are we promoting bad eating habits to kids now? No, you dumb Excuse me? I said no you dumb puppet. Diabetes 1 is actually inherited as a genetic disorder and is not caused by unhealthy eating. While it can occur at any age, it is the most common form of diabetes in children under the age of 10 and occur approximately in one out of every 600 children in the United States of America. So, thinking of cosplaying as Diabetes Barbie this Halloween? Well, it's going to cost you. It's going to be $8,000 for the insulin pump, about $6,000 for annual insulin pump costs, as well as another $5,000 for the continuous glucose monitor. That's going to be around $19,000 for your first year of trying to be Diabetes Barbie. But I don't have insurance! <laughs> Anyway, on a more serious note, a tragic scenario befitting of a Final Destination movie. Keith McAllister, a 61-year-old male, died in Long Island when he entered an MRI room while the scan was taking place. So what exactly happened here? Well, MRI stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging. It's a non-invasive scan that lets doctors see the inside of your body. The MRI uses a massive magnet that is more than 60,000 times as powerful as Earth's magnetic field. But here's the catch. The magnet is always on. Nobody is allowed to enter the room with even the tiniest amount of metal on their body because that metal will be sucked into the MRI machine like a deadly projectile. Here are a few videos of that happening. If an MRI machine is able to do that with a small metallic object, imagine what it is able to do with a metallic chain wrapped around your neck. Keith was wearing a 20 pound workout chain. He was attempting to help his wife off the scanning table when he got sucked into the MRI machine. Keith was strangled as he was sucked into the machine and wasn't able to get out for several hours. He sustained multiple heart attacks and eventually waved goodbye to his wife before his body went limp.